did he commit suicide? Was the Illuminati behind it? Who knows? But I'm going to tell you the story right here that CBS News posted. So we know that this is, you know, the real deal here. Sam Sarpong from Yo Mama died, and it looks like he may have committed suicide. But then again, it could have been an Illuminati hit. We don't really know exactly what happened. So CBS News writes, and I quote, London-born model and TV actor Sam Sarpong has died in Southern California after jumping to his death from a bridge. Sarpong, who was 40, died Monday afternoon in Pasadena, where he lived. The Los Angeles County Coroner's Office says the case is being investigated as a possible suicide, but the official cause of death must await results of toxicology testing. Pasadena police say a 40-year-old man jumped from the Colorado Street Bridge following seven hours of attempts to talk him down. Sarpong had a series of small roles in movies and TV shows including Bones and Boston Public, and he co-hosted MTV's 2006 show, Yo Mama. He also modeled for Tommy Hilfiger and other fashion brands. He is survived by his father and his sister, June Sarpong, an English TV presenter, end quote. Here's the deal. This is really fishy to me. I was only 40 years old, and if you read what he was saying on Instagram, if you go visit his Instagram page or whatnot, it seemed like he was in a good place in life, and he was really looking forward to tomorrow. It's just really weird that he would just pop up dead like this, just allegedly having to take seven hours to talk him down from a bridge. And then he would just jump to his death at only 40 years old. It's really fishy. Now, I'm not saying the Illuminati did it. I'm not saying anybody drugged him. I'm not saying that this reminds me a little bit of the Lamar Odom situation. You know, black dude just out of nowhere gets drugged and whatnot. And they both have bald heads. And I'm not trying to say that any of this is connected. And that both instances happen on the West Coast. I'm not saying it's connected at all. That's not what I'm saying. You won't hear that from me. I don't think it's really fishy. Rest in peace to Sam Sarpong. Hopefully, whoever killed him will be exposed, whether he really killed himself or somebody pushed him or somebody drugged him or, you know, this is a hit or whatever. Hopefully, the true story will really come out so then that way his family can find some peace in the situation. R.I.P. to Sam Sarpong. And did you know that he was a rapper? That's what it says on his Instagram page. I never heard him rap before, so I'm going to have to go look up his music. If I can find some, I'll post it on my blog at the link below. And if you want to read the story for yourself for now, yes, the link below will take you to my blog. And there's a link there where you can actually read the story for yourself. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Who do you think is responsible for this young man's death? Let me know what you think about it below.